Hey, what's going on guys? It's Cousin Tech here, and today I'm gonna show you, in simple steps, how to create a Windows 10 bootable USB flash drive. This works for Windows 7 and Windows 8 too. In case you want to use one of those, let's jump right onto it. Things we need. A Windows 10 ISO file a 16 or 8 gigabytes USB flash drive and the Rufus software to convert the Windows ISO into our USB flash drive. Let's open the web browser. Open Google and type download Windows and hit enter. Select the first option. Click download tool now. Now let's open the file. Click Accept. Select Create Installation Media, then Next. Choose your favorite language. Here you have two options, 32 bits or 64 bit. On the keyboard, press the Windows key and the R key, and this will appear. Type this inside the box and click OK. Then you will see this page. If you see a X64, means your computer is at 64 bits. If not, it's at 32 bits. Then click Next. Choose ISO file, then Next. Choose where you want to save your Windows ISO file then click save now it will start downloading since i already have my iso file i will cancel this let's go back to the web browser open google and type rufus then hit enter choose the first option scroll down and click on the latest version Now open Rufus and insert your USB drive. Be sure to choose the right USB drive if you have more than one. In the boot selection, choose disk or ISO image. Then click select and search for your ISO. In the Windows search box, type disk and click this option. Let's say I will install Windows on my C drive, right here. Here you can see which file system your drive has. Then below, right click on your drive and hit properties. Click in the volume tab. Here you can see which partition type your drive has. Going back to Rufus, you can change the name if you want. Once done, click Start. Your USB drive will delete everything inside. Keep in mind that this will take a while. Once done, unplug your drive. Plug it back and now you're done. If you want to test it real quick, open the setup file, then close it. Now that we have finished with the process, it's true that the speed of a fresh installed Windows is fast, but there is a clear difference in how fast it will be, and that is based on the type of drive you're using. 
which can be one of the followings, a hard disk drive or HDD, a hybrid drive or SSHD, and a solid state drive or SSD. The HDD is the slowest, but it has the highest capacity on the market, which makes them very good for storage and bad for speed. And then we have the SSHD, which is indeed faster than a regular HDD, but it will take some time to actually show that speed boost because it's controlled by firmware. Lastly, we have the SSD, it's the fastest and the recommended choice. That's it for this video, guys. If possible, hit that like button and leave a comment below. I really appreciate it. Also, if you found this video useful, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. But more important, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.